In this video, you will learn to compute hypothesis tests and confidence intervals for the difference between two means with raw data using StatCrunch. The data set I'll be using is called Asking Prices for Four Bedroom Homes in Bryan College Station, Texas. This data set compares four bedroom homes listed for sale in two adjoining cities, Bryan, Texas and College Station, Texas. It consists of a random sample of 15 homes listed for sale in Bryan and 15 homes listed for sale in College Station. The square footage column contains the square footage of each home and the location column lists the city where the home is located. This video will cover how to compute a two sample T hypothesis test and a two sample T confidence interval. A similar approach can be used for two sample Z methods that are appropriate for situations with larger sample sizes and or known standard deviations. For this video, the statistical question I'm going to test is, is there a significant difference in the average size of four bedroom homes listed for sale in the two cities? To do this, I'm going to go under the stat menu, choose T stats, two sample with data. Under sample one, our values are listed in the square footage column. For sample one, I want to limit the homes in the first sample to Bryan, Texas. So to do that, in the where box, I'm going to type location equals quotation Bryan, Texas. Note that StatCrunch is case sensitive, so you need to make sure that it is exactly how it appears in the data table with capital letters and with spaces. Under sample two, again we'll choose the square footage column, but this time I want to limit the second sample to College Station. So again I'll type location equals and this time College Station, Texas. By default, StatCrunch is going to perform a hypothesis test. For this situation, the, we're going to leave the null at zero to compare the difference in the two means. And for the alternative, there are different options. You can have not equal to, less than, or greater than. For this example, we'll leave it at not equal to. I'll click Compute. The output table provides various statistics from the test, including the test statistic and the p-value. Now instead of computing a hypothesis test, let's compute a confidence interval between, for the difference between the two means. Under Options, choose Edit. This takes us back to the original window where we set up our test. In this window, StatCrunch has other options for the user to choose. Under Perform, instead of choosing Hypothesis Test, this time we'll choose Confidence Interval. By default, StatCrunch has a value of 0.95 for the level, which will produce a 95% confidence interval for the difference between the two means. For this example, I'll enter 0.99, which will produce a 99% confidence interval. I'll click Compute. The results now show a 99% confidence interval for the difference in the mean square footage of four bedroom homes, where L limit represents the lower limit and U limit represents the upper limit. Lastly, StatCrunch can also add our results to the data table for future calculations. To do so, go back under Options, Edit, and under Output, Choose the option Store in Data Table. I'll click Compute, and now you can see our results are now stored in new data columns.